Theory people, you should never sleep with in this life, no matter who they are to you, even if you are married to them. Avoid sexual intercourse with these people. Number one, reverend fathers or reverend sisters. These are people dedicated to God. They are dedicated. They have made an oath to God. And even if they have left that, they decided to abandon their faith. They become so weak because of earthly pleasure. Because at times, we do hear of stories of some reverend fathers and reverend sisters. They like somebody. They start misbehaving. Make sure they are not misbehaving with you. Because you share from that sin. You have made an oath to God. Yes, it is very, very dangerous to have anything to do with a reverend father or a reverend sister. Even when they are no longer priests or reverend sister. Don't try it for your own good. This can cause you bad luck. It can cause you destruction. So if you meet anybody, you ask them. You ask them. Don't marry them. Don't marry them. Because when you are about to become a reverend father, you have turned your back against marriage. You have decided to get married to God. So let no man pull out that bond. You understand? If you do that, you will share from their sin. So never you sleep with or have anything to do with reverend fathers or reverend sisters. Number two, pastors. Of course you can marry a pastor, but never you sleep with a pastor if he's not married to you. It is dangerous. Normally, fornication is a sin against God. But you sleeping with an ordained man of God, that is double sin. That is sacrilege. Maybe that pastor is not yet married. You commit fornication with him. It is very dangerous. And even if he is still going to get married to you, it is still very dangerous. Don't commit fornication with a pastor. Never try it. Never try it. And if that pastor is married, you are not his wife. It is even more dangerous. These are people who have dedicated their lives, their earthly pleasures to God. For a pastor to sleep with a lady that is not yet married to, it's an abomination. Abomination. Because people look up to pastors. They are like spiritual head, your pastor, your deacon, your bishop. Yes, they are like the head of the church. So if the head is falling, what about the congregation? The laity, tell me. So even if they are cheating, let the sin be on them. But don't let them cheat with you and bring destruction to you too. You share from their destruction. There are many pastors out there. They are fake pastors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are looking for young girls to sleep with. You as a young lady, you have a problem. Because you want to share your problems, you think human beings can save you, you run to them. They want to do private deliverance from there. Anything can happen. Avoid it. Avoid it. And even if your pastor wants to pray with you or pray for you, and opposite says it should be in the church or any other place that you are not alone. Because there is no excuse. He lured me. He did this. He deceived me. No, you are not a child. That is destruction. You are killing yourself. Yes, and even if nothing has happened to you now, does not mean nothing will happen. Remove your hands from people like that. I'm telling you the truth. Sexual immorality is one thing that annoys God, but it is worst when you try to defy holy people of God. Run away from them, even if you see that it is their fault. No excuse, because you will be a partaker of their doom. It causes bad luck in every area of your life. Even if you later get married to them, so far you have committed fornication with them, adultery with them. It is doom. You understand? Finally, don't sleep with your relation, whether your cousin, your far cousin, and all of that. I know you will tell me, you know, there are some cousins you don't know they are your cousins. You don't know they are your cousins. Maybe your aunties and your uncles, they went abroad, got married, and have children for years. You never met their children. And paraventure, you meet each other. You fall in love. Don't sleep with them. There is no excuse. I never knew because you are not supposed to commit fornication. If you have waited in marriage, when you are about to get married, you will know that this person is related to you. 
it is still the fornication that is causing this atrocity. I would call this insect an abomination. There are some sins, hey, they are abomination. And even if you don't die, you see yourself living in pain, poverty, and all of that. Most of you are from very large families, polygamous families. Your aunties, step aunties, you don't even know all your cousins or nephews or all of them totally, or half nephews as they call them, totally. So be very careful. There is no excuse. The moment you do it, you have committed sacrilege. There are many people they have slept with their relations unknowingly. Whether far, far causes, your third causes, your fourth causes, as far as they have a link with your generation, an abomination. And again, even that fornication is a very big sin against God. So if you have waited for marriage, you will find out that they are related to you. There is no excuse. If you have done that, hey, that's a big problem. I'm not saying you should kill yourself. Maybe you can confess or meet a pastor or all of that, but it causes bad luck. It causes different evil. The reason why you see people dying every day, destruction, sudden death, be very careful. Never sleep with these people, no matter what. It is very dangerous, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. I will see you again.